Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Liz and I'm the creator behind Zunia Berry Designs. I have an Etsy store, I'll leave that link below. And I'm excited to have you here today as we go through the May 2024 stickers. I do need to apologize for being absent for a while. Um, sometimes life <laughs> throws you some curveballs and I just did not have the heart to create anything and needed to take some time off. So I apologize for not having April inserts um, and I probably won't have the May inserts, but I'm hoping to get back on track for the rest of the year. So thank you for your patience and I appreciate you being here. So I'm going to um, divide this video into three parts. Number one, I'm gonna show you the May sticker. So if that's all you're here for, you can get that done and out of the way. I'm gonna show you how I'm using them in my May planner, and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks. So let's get started. Here are the May stickers for 2024. I have them in the slim split screen version. I like it to um, float over my planner, and when I am done with May, I put it into my sticker organizer, and there's some videos below on what my sticker organizer system looks like. So we're gonna tap on May sticker book and it comes to the index at the very bottom you have the color palette for May along with the hex codes so if you are in good notes it's quite easy just to tap on the color and you can recolor items um, by doing that or pen tool have this all in your pen tool easily by tapping on the colors but there are also the codes there in case you need to uh, type those in okay so Typically, I always give you transparent backgrounds, and this is no exception. You can tap on transparent backgrounds. When you tap on the title again, it takes you to the in, uh, beginning index. So I'm gonna just scroll through moving forward. So here are um, rectangular transparent backgrounds and circle transparent backgrounds, and I want you to know that you can crop them to whatever you want. You can crop this into a square if you want to. So if I, I'm gonna do this photo tool. I'm going to press crop and in here you can crop any way that you like to. So if you want it to be somewhat of a square you can do that as well and that is the beauty of having the crop tool and along with that you can also crop your circles as well into semicircles. So you know just to the best of your ability you can crop that in half as well. So I like the fact that you get the full circle you can crop it into a semicircle if you want. Let's move on to our solid backgrounds. I'm pretty excited about these solid backgrounds because they give you the ability to add whatever you want on top. So if I kind of scroll in, you have this um, squarish with rounded corner, but there's a tab at the top. And the beauty of that is that you can title whatever you're doing in here. And I'm gonna show you how I'm using this in my planner shortly, but there are two versions. This one is so much fun. I had fun making this one because it has this um, transparent border at the top, as you can see, that you can also label and it's slightly different size. And of course, I love my word strips to add items on there, like uh, to do, you know, anything that you want to put on there. They're just fun to have. We're gonna move on to more solid backgrounds. And these ones are a lot of fun. They're solid circles, they are solid stars. And these stars, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, have this little um, texture on them, which is a lot of fun. Now these are, they look like film strips. So you can most definitely put a photo right on top of them. So much fun to do that. I have an example. I believe I have an example of that. But I also have given you this white um, shape to put on top in case you want to use them as backgrounds for tasks as well. And we've got the hexagons that you have the white shape that you can put on top as well or leave them just as the solid color. And this is this was just so much fun to create. These are the extra backgrounds. I'm gonna start at the top and you'll see in my uh, second part how I'm using them, but this is just simply inserts that you can put in your page, on your daily page, 
daily highlights and you can kind of jot down some of the three top highlights and then there's weekly highlights with five spaces and another weekly highlight and this one fits nicely into the vertical weekly view um, these like tickets with clips at the top this one says my mom is and here is a black one a uh, blank one sorry and then there's some lines and checklists that will fit on top of those other backgrounds but here is my fun little uh, experiment that I love I'm, I'm just really enjoying transparent so this is a full page that you could put on your daily page even on your weekly page um, a today's uh, list uh, daily list today and here is one that says what am I looking forward to today how was my day how can I improve today and a daily dozen list I've also created a daily dozen list that is um, transparent so you can put that on any background color that you would like to do uh, here is um, like a little chalkboard um, for today's menu or today's task there are some book plates that you can use for memory keeping. And here's another uh, topper for one of the backgrounds. And I'll show you how I'm using that one. But these little word strips are so much fun. My intent was for them to go right across the entire page. And I have done that. And I've left you one that is blank. And let me adjust my crown and get my day started. That's one of my favorite. So these are just so much fun. I believe I'm going to... Can't remember what font I use, but it is like a typewriter font that you can use on top of these to create that effect. And then we have our word art. And typically um, I do icon word art. And for this month, I've kind of just limited it to three Mother's Day, Memorial Day and Victoria Day and a little Mother's Day quote here. But for the most part, I've done these kind of like semi-circles to go around the circle uh, shapes and I've done them in black and in white, in case you are using a darker background circle. And I'll show you how those work as well. Here are the decorative stickers. Um, I feel like I've jam-packed a lot in there. For me, May is a month where I like to explore the sights and the sounds of spring. The birds are back, the robins are back. I live in the Northern, like I live in Canada. So everything is shifted, it takes a little longer. In May, May we usually see spring. Um, I know in the Southern climates, you are seeing spring. You're probably already feeling summer. <laughs> but um, we've got, you know, robins coming, geese coming, frogs chirping, it is croaking. There's so much going on. Um, peonies are going to be sprouting and growing so those are reflective of our climate i hope that you do enjoy them but there is um some mother's day florals there to decorate your pages with and i'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to add a photo behind the o there is a proud to be dog mom proud to be cat mom um duck swimming geese um, mom and baby animals tea party here are two water different water trackers a little sleep tracker groundhogs we have one living in our or a ground squirrel living in our yard digging up holes everywhere uh, usually in may we go camping so i've got a couple of camping ideas um i love this little granny she's she's gorgeous having her little tea party and just some little extra doodads for you to use in your planner so I hope you enjoy those. Uh, the last page is the color changing stickers, which are so cute. I have left them blank so that you can add whatever uh, title or anything that you want on top of them. So we've got this adorable little dog peeking around the corner, some florals, uh, this dog who needs their coffee first. So I would probably write coffee first on here and add it to my planning page. Uh, this grandmother and daughter, this kind of reminds me of me and my mom. So I wanted to include that. A little cat peeking over a mom and child, two versions of them. And so I'm just going to show you how this works. You're going to circle all of it and tap on it and press color. And you can use any color that you want to, to change. There's a nice black one. So you can write in white font in there if you wanted to. I mean, you can pick any color that you want for your backgrounds to suit your needs. 
and then you can type words in there and make a title. Um, just so much fun to use color changing stickers. All right, so now we are going to go into the planner and that is the May 2024 stickers for you. I am housing all of my planners in my planner and journal organizer for 2024. Um, I'm hoping to make a video, a quarterly video of how I've been using this organizer because uh, I know that some of you have this system and it would be fun to see what everybody's doing. So we're going to just tap on May and that's going to take me to the May um, divider page. So I'm just going to scroll over. I've inserted my May planner in there already. Um, April, May, June are already in the store for you if you'd like to use them. And these are fully, you can you don't have to put them in the organizer. They are fully self-sufficient and hyperlinked um, for you to use. So we're gonna open up our planner. I haven't been, haven't worked on my inbox yet. I do have one item here. I think that our garbage pickup is changing on the 8th, so I'm gonna move that there. Okay, so here are the examples of how I am using the stickers on a daily page. So this page is incorporating this lovely, which I am just loving, transparent um, sticker to put all of my tasks for today where I can just simply list them, highlight them with the highlighter tool, and then check them off. That's a rather thick check mark. Check them off as I get them done. This is incorporating stickers from April as well as stickers from May. So I do like to mix and match all of the stickers. So this is an idea for you if you are interested in how to put together daily pages. At the top from January, February, March, and April, I have been creating lots of different word art. So I just simply just put that at the top of the sticky note, whatever I need for that day. And again, if I love this page, I'm gonna lasso it, copy and paste it for the rest of the month probably. But here are some more examples. And here is an example of how I'm using that semicircle um, word art on these circles. And the beauty of these is that you can actually kind of slightly stretch them in whichever direction you want to fit. It doesn't, um, if you do it very gently and carefully, it doesn't really skew it too much. Okay, moving on to another example. And this is one of my favorite pages. I love this page. I think that this is the one that I'm going to lasso and use over and over again. So on the left-hand side, you've got today, the list. I can put whatever lists I want on here and title them. So I am actually using um, two fonts on here and I'll show you what they are so that if you like them, you can use them. This one here is called Gratitude. And I've just used that all over the page here. And the little uh, typing here is American Typewriter. And I believe I'm using condensed light on those. So those are my two font pairing, font pairing <laughs> um, for this page. I am loving this daily highlights little insert. It is slim. And you can quickly write, uh, type in your little highlights for the day. It doesn't take up too much space. Um, and it is a lot of fun. So what I'm loving about these tabbed squares is that I can label them anything that I want to each day. So I had an actual, I had a photo that I wanted to keep a memory of. And so I put photo a day. I had thoughts about my friends, um, some inspiration that happened that day, um, some more information I wanted to put in there. And so you can quickly label them, add what you want. And it's, it's like a memory keeping page as well as a functional page. Here I have some personal stuff, keeping track. I wanna keep track of vitamins, walks, stretching, journaling, and a memory that I wanted to record. Now, what I wanna say is that I still provide you with the transparent backgrounds for a reason. These transparent backgrounds here, I just created using the shapes tool. But the problem is, and let me just go back a couple of steps here, is that, um, and this is set up for me and might look different for you, but you can take the shapes tool, I'm gonna make it thicker, and just create whatever shape you want. So there's a almost a square. 
tap one step back and you've got your back transparent background. And that is what I've done on that page. Oops, let's move that. However, if you want to erase something, it is going to erase your background. So it's not super stable. What would be nice is GoodNotes kind of is able to lock that in place. And then you've got your, you know, backgrounds. Here's a double one that I just have to, there we go. And erase both. But, you know, sometimes GoodNotes is being glitchy. So hopefully they get all of that. I kind of erased that background. Uh, these little, um, right here, little check boxes are just text boxes. So if you click on, uh, text box style. They've got presets. You can pick whatever preset you want. You can change it around. And um, that's what I used is just a little text box. So let me just uh, change the color so that you can see what I'm doing here. Let's put, let's create a new text here. And I'm going to go to the preset box. I'm going to pick this one right here. I want to add it, a shadow to it. I don't know why it's not working properly, but that's basically how you tap and return, um, make yourself a text box, which is also another background. The beauty of this one is that you don't, it's not, you're not able to erase it. So I wonder if I can add a shadow to this one. There we go. It's added a little shadow to it. So that's another way to make some backgrounds and you can make them, you know, as, as big as you want to. Um, so if there's something that you don't have in your arsenal of stickers, uh, you can kind of create your own little background there as well. And I would like to delete that if I can. Oh, those. Yeah, we'll leave that for another time. I, see, I don't know what GoodNotes is doing, but my background stickers are back again for some reason. <laughs> we'll delete that and move on to the next page. So that is how I'm using this page. I am loving it. I hope that you enjoy it as well. I have some more ideas for you as we scroll through. And here is the example of that um, word art that goes right across the entire page. I love it. I love that I can put that on there and define my page. Here is an um, example of using uh, hexagons, this background right here. Again, I'm using word art. Uh, font, my gratitude font to put some word art on there. Here is the insert where I'm putting sleep quality, energy level, happiness, um, my little word strips for tomorrow where I can write down things I need to do tomorrow. Uh, another little background here. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm going to have to tap off this. Uh, the Daily Dozen. Um, I've inserted the half circle beautiful memories so I can write something down. Here's a picture of my mama that I've um, you know, covered up, but there is just so many ideas of creating a beautiful, beautiful looking daily page with different color palettes. Like this one is just very soft. And then here you've got pops of black and yellow and pink. And um, yeah, you can add things on top to create whatever you need to for your day. You have to kind of know what you want to keep track of and how much memory keeping you want to do, water tracking, exercise, good deeds, dinner. Now I'm going to just check because I think this font might be a different one that I'm using. Yes, that one is called Care to Dance if, if you like that font. Another idea, and I am loving, loving this one as well, is I took the blank black strip and I used it as a pin board and here are some of those tickets that I can write down what's important for today, uh, what I want to do tomorrow, um, my daily meal. Uh, some of these stickers like the butterfly and this the strength of a woman are from May of 2023 pack I believe or 2022. I, I can't remember I'm sorry but um, yeah so here is some of the transparent circles I need to stop touching that. I put some of the half circle um, word art on the outside, some on the inside, and uh, you can just transform your page to your liking and use your imagination. And here is another one, which is a completely different color palette where I've taken the background photos that are transparent. I'd like to write about it here. I've just paired some colors. Here is those photo frames where I can have my daily dozen here, my water tracker, my menu, the weather, 
um, the story of today I've put. I left that one blank for whatever comes up and I can check off my list for today. So you can be super creative with these stickers. You can see that just a simple color palette changes the look of your daily planner um, so easily. And then here is a memory book page because I do have the photo icon here which can, has main memories. So I've given you an idea of a memory book page. I am not sure. Let's go to here and see if I can. Oh my goodness. Let me tap on number four. There we go. And here is a memory book page. And so some of, I believe these stickers are from May 2023, along with this one, which is from 2024. Just use the pen tool here um, on the dotted line to make these little butterfly flutters. Okay, so there is one sticker that I wanted to kind of show you how you can add a picture behind it. So we're gonna go out of our organizer um, and go into Keynote, and that is the mom sticker. So what you're going to do is to create a photo here, maybe of your mom behind here, is you're gonna tap on the um, square and circle icon here and press the circle. Now this is not a true circle, so I'm not going to um, keep this in the shape of a circle. I'm just going to stretch it out so that it fills up that space perfectly. and covers that um, opening. And what you're gonna do is tap on the paintbrush tool, press style, fill, and you're gonna fill it, you can fill it with a color if you want, but you're gonna fill it with an image. So you're going to, um, I'm just gonna leave it as this image, but if you wanted to fill it with a picture of your family, you're just gonna press change image and choose photo. And you could put, it will, um, put the photo in that shape. So this is really nice to be able to personalize it and I can arrange this to the back so that you can see how it fills in that blank space with your loved one's image. So that is the video for today. Thank you for bearing with me. Have a great uh, rest of the month. Enjoy your May planning and we'll see you in the next video.